my name is Miguel Loya. I am an SI tutor for computer drafting and design technology and I'm sponsored by the Office of Student Success. Today I'm going to show you how to open up an existing AutoCAD file that you guys have made and we're going to change the settings to the plotter machine so that way we could plot on the plotting machine. So we're going to open up an existing file. So I'm going to open up an assembly that I have. Uh, I'm just going to do a little pan so that way I could look at this first page that I have here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little, you can either do this little picture that says plot or you could go to this capital A which is like the main menu and just say print. Those are, those are your two options. Next thing is now you're going to choose the name of the plotter. And the name of the plotter is called HP 542. That is the plotter that we have set up to this computer. It'll take a while. And then now we're going to go to paper size. You want to change the paper size to an oversized arc D landscape because that's the size paper we want. Then the next step we'll do on plotting area, we're going to say window. So that way we could choose the window from this top corner to the bottom corner opposite of it and then from there we're going to check the center of the plot so that way the drawing could be centered you want it to say fit to paper and you're going to open up this little arrow as default it, will be, it should be like this so we're going to want to open up this arrow and then default it should say none on plot size table so from there we'll just change this to monochrome and what that is, it just changes all the line weights you did for your drawing and it will apply it to your plotting so that way all of them have those different line weights you have when you did this drawing. Then we just say apply to layout and then from there we just say okay. And then it will start processing it and then send it to the plotter. Okay, so now that's pretty much it. and. Uh, on my next video, I'm going to show you how to set up the sheet of paper into the plotter and put in these little the little commands that you have to put so that way you can set the paper up. And uh, that's about it for how to change all the settings to AutoCAD. And those are the very most important uh, details to setting up and changing these uh, settings to the plotter. And that concludes this um, demonstration that I have done. On the next video I will show you how to set up the paper to the plotter machine that we have in the room and that way you could print out this drawing that we did. And that's it for this demonstration. My name is Miguel Ancaloya. I'm an SI tutor in computer drafting and design technology and I'm sponsored by the Office of Student Success. Thank you. The name of the plotter is HP Design Jet 500 and the plotter holds D size paper which is 36 inch by 34 inches and C size paper which is 24 inch by 18 inches. We are going to choose paper menu on the LCD screen, then choose load sheet, then plain paper. Now we are going to open up the window, then lift up the blue lever. Now you really want to make sure that you line up your D size paper with the blue plotting lines which are on the right and on the top. Also make sure your D size paper is lined up completely across the top plotter line from right to left. Then you will 
bring down the blue lever and close the window also. Next, the plotter will start lining up the D-size paper and start to plot if you lined it up good. If you line up the D-size paper too far from the plotting lines, an error message will pop up saying to abort the plotting or to realign your D-size paper. So now when the plotter is plotting, you will lift up the window and the blue lever but make sure you are holding your paper, your D-size paper, so it won't fall off the plotter. Then pull the blue lever down and close the window. And now we're going to take our D-size paper to the trimmer which will trim off any access paper on the D-size paper. It doesn't really matter if you line it up next to the ruler or off the ruler as the most important thing about this trimmer is that you line it up to on the top edge of the clear plastic. Then we're going to hold the red lever and move it across to trim off the paper. And we will do that to all four sides if needed 